Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another video here at HNE. And today we're going to talk about, after the success of the Joker film, which villain DC should make a similar type of movie for next. Now, the first two characters that always come to mind to me personally are Lex Luthor and Vandal Savage. And the reason why is because I think they could tell two completely different kinds of movies if you get the right director and the right vision behind it. Now, this would be a part of the DC Black Label, which is what DC Entertainment is currently going to be calling their next slate of films coming out, which are more smaller budget, but more experimental like The Joker, which essentially is the film version of an Elseworld story. So this is pretty cool, and yeah, let's get more into it. Now, the character of Vandal Savage, I think, works really well for a low budget pitcher more than anything else, because basically his only abilities are his immortality and durability slash healing factor if you want to even call it that. And with those two things, since he's basically been around for the entirety of human civilization, you could really play around with different time periods. You can make a period piece movie, you can make a modern day mystery movie. I mean, the opportunities are endless, especially if you want to go into some of the alternate universe versions of the character, where for the Young Justice universe, Nabu slash Dr. Fate is his son, for example. And also at previous times, he's been Alexander the Great, he's been Genghis Khan, he's been Caesar in some different comic book storylines. That's just aliases he's used in the past, these famous historical characters. And even besides that, he's done things like had interactions with ancient Atlantis, which could be really cool. Even if it's not connected to the Aquaman movie, it'd just be cool to see these kind of sites in general within the DC landscape. And with all that said and done, I do think if they did a modern day film where maybe a detective or it's like a mystery film where someone's kind of realizing that this guy's been around forever, I think a really cool character to use in that kind of role would be like The Question, who would be crazy enough to even pursue something like that in the first place. But if they were to do a period piece kind of movie, not really sure who the antagonist would be straight out of the get go. They'd probably retcon a few things, change a few things here and there. So not only he was irradiated and affected by the meteor that landed, but someone else was as well. And that person will probably, they would most likely be the villain, I would think, of the movie. And they might do like a Kane Abel kind of twist, where maybe Vandal Savage isn't Kane, but the other person's Kane after all, like the first murderer and all that stuff. And really the rivalry would just kind of stem from there as eons go on eventually maybe resulting in the modern day, they finally yet again come face to face and maybe Vandal Savage finally knows how to defeat him or maybe it's the other way around and our protagonist is really that other person who is mutated by the meteorite and they're trying to stop Vandal Savage after all this time. I mean, there's a lot they can go with it here, but if they want to make it a really interesting character piece, I would love to explore certain things that we got teased about in films like The Wolverine and Logan which was the burden of having something like immortality. Like, what is that like on a person to see all their loved ones die at a certain point, to always outlive everything at a certain point? I would love to see that kind of storyline and what they could really do with that, even if they make Vandal Savage less of a, you know, kind of larger than life kind of general character or a schemer over decades. If they maybe want to do something different than that and focus on the immortality aspect, I think that'd be pretty cool because with a character like Vandal Savage and all the different period piece elements to it really more than anything else, you don't have to tell a traditional hero versus villain story. You can tell a really compelling story across generations, across eons if you really want to, just due to the character's, I guess, history and the character's kind of characteristics pertaining to the character. Now while I say all of this, another thing that comes to mind with me as well is I think a TV show might be better for a character like Vandal Savage, type of like an anthology series, if you will, where every season is like a different time period in the life of Vandal Savage. I think that'd be pretty cool as well. DC, definitely, I think that'd be a cool show for the DC Universe streaming site. Wouldn't be really expensive, yet would be definitely interesting with the right showrunner. Now, another character I think would be really good for this DC black film imprint, if you will, would be Lex Luthor. And the reason why is because Lex Luthor is a really interesting character, similar to how the Joker is the arch nemesis of Batman, and he gets a lot of notoriety because of that. Lex Luthor is exactly the same kind of way. And I think you could do two different Lex Luthor kind of storylines. You could do one Lex Luthor storyline, which is basically him focusing on themes like power, corruption, maybe old money versus new money, depending on which type of Lex Luthor you want to go with. 
And at the same time, you could focus on maybe Lois Lane, conducting an interview or doing a feature piece on Lex Luthor, which would allow us to explore the character. Maybe the character is in jail, maybe he's the president at this point in this universe. I mean, I think the possibilities are endless. And for a character like Lex Luthor, I think doing a psychological thriller kind of movie would be the best bet. Keep it something a little ambiguous to the crimes he's committing or accused of committing. So either the audience thinks he's a misunderstood character due to his genius intellect, or maybe he truly is insane, he's truly crazy, and he's truly one of the greatest criminal masterminds of all time. A movie that really did this well, I think, was the movie Loose that came out in 2019, which was just fantastic. A true psychological thriller starring Octavia Spencer as a teacher who basically was thinking that the student may be the next kind of school shooter kind of character, which is a really scary thing in the current climate today, but the film goes into that and it makes things very ambiguous. So when you leave the film, you don't know if the student really is all these things the teacher thought, or if it's really just bad situations hitting the teacher and the teacher kind of making things up where there really isn't anything in the first place. So I think a movie like that would be really good for Lex Luthor as a character driven storyline. And another actually similar comic called Lex Luthor, the unauthorized biography in 1989, featured a plot where a journalist was tasked to write a biography of Lex, which eventually revealed some previously unknown secrets about the character. Now, if they want to really connect a Lex Luthor movie to Superman, I think doing it around the time of the death of Superman would be the best play. And the reason why is because after the death of Superman, you could either do a redemption story, or you can do a story focusing on Lex Luthor once Superman is gone, and kind of once that motivation is gone. Maybe he's on trial for the death of Superman because they might think he was responsible for it. Or maybe we're getting a type of movie that's exploring Lex Luthor's character once Superman's gone, once that kind of limitation is no longer holding him back, that obsession is no more, and seeing what good he could really do for Metropolis, the world as a whole. I don't really know what type of movie you would make with that, what type of antagonist you would have with that, but if they want to do like a redemption kind of story for Lex Luthor, Maybe his superiority complex gets the best of him, he makes the war suit, and we get a situation where he's like in the New 52, kind of being a pseudo Superman, kind of in his own perverted image of what Superman stood for. That'd be kind of interesting, Parasite I think would be a good villain for that kind of film if they do it, but leave your thoughts down below, what do you guys think? Actually Steel would be a good character for a movie like that, have Steel go against Lex Luthor, but leave your comments down below, what DC villain do you think should get a film? in the vein of a low budget kind of experimental movie like the joker let us know your guys thoughts down below and we'll see you guys later